Hello again, Facebook family. Thank you so much for joining me again here today and for this series I've been doing this month on this book that I've been reading and studying. Thank you so much for joining me and listening in. If you're here watching the replay, please type replay. Let me know that you're listening and let me know where you're listening from. Where do you live? Social media is amazing here because we get to connect with people all over the world, worldwide and international. Is that exciting? I think that's super exciting. If you do too, let me know. Hey, Janessa, I see you popped on. Good to see you. Hi, John. Look, I'm going to get started. This is chapter nine of Shackle to Free, Getting Gooder and Gooder. It starts with a verse and it is James 1, 6. And it says, but when you ask, you must believe and not doubt. Because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. Anybody ever feel blown and tossed by the wind? Anyone ever feel thrown around? And, um, you know, in this life, it happens. We feel that way sometimes. And, you know, my mentor talks about two groups of people in this chapter. Two groups of people. Janessa, 22 degrees in Alberta. Woo! Cold. Stay warm, my friends. Stay warm. So there are two groups of people today that we read about. Those finding success and finding the results that they're looking for, and then those who are not and who are looking for maybe more success. Maybe you have been successful in the past. Maybe you have um, things that you've created and the life that you've dreamed of and everything is going right for you. Um, there's no reason we can't continue with that and share and pass that along to others, right? So there's 21 ways um, that we can right now, without a shadow of a doubt, we can find success in our life right now. I'm going to give you 21 ways, um, and this is all from this chapter, believe it or not. They're really simple, something anybody, all of us can do. You don't have to buy anything. You don't have to do anything except um, listen, right? So easy to listen. And then I'm going to give you some questions for reflection. There's only a few questions at the end, and that will help you um, really, really dig into finding the success that you're looking for, okay? So let's get into it. Number one is we're going to do the right things. Number one is do the right things. How do we know what the right things are? Well, we will find quick success. We'll get pretty quick results. Um, there's no, you know, miracle uh, supplement. There's no miracle weight loss pill. There's no millionaire in a day uh, marketing company. You know, we know that it doesn't happen overnight. However, we do know as well that we should be seeing results. We should be able to calculate and measure our results each and every day. Um, obviously, if you're in a relationship, especially, um, you know, communicating, talking, you see your results each day, getting flowers, going on a date. You see your results. Same thing for marketing and business. Um, working on Facebook is no different than any other company. We should see results every day, no doubt. Some people don't measure their results maybe weekly or monthly. I want to inspire you to measure your numbers daily. M do the right things because those numbers are going to grow if you're doing the right things. Okay, number two is know exactly what you want. Robert's problem the only problem he has with helping people get what they want is finding the people that know what they want. And I was one of them. I didn't know what I wanted at first. And it took helping, help, helping me, coaching me um, to find what that was, what my values are in my life after 44 years of life. Um, you know, sometimes we got to take a look and evaluate and look within um, and know exactly what it is we want today. Because the things we wanted a year ago or 10 years ago or 20 years ago, that's not who we are today. Who are we today? Who are you today? And what do you want exactly today? Number three, be persistent. It's an easy one. Four, be passionate. Five, be consistent with doing all these right things um, and knowing what we want. Consistently hold those things within. Speak of them. Write about them, get them out into the world, and they will come out into your life as well. Um, I totally believe that. Number six is want it bad enough. Want it bad enough. Like how bad do you want success? How bad do you want? Do you think, stay awake at night thinking about it? You know, do you lose track of time when you're doing your activities and you're, um, you know, wanting something really, really bad. That's how we know we want it. We lose track of time. We're willing to just put all of our life into it. Um, number seven is stay 100% focused. And this is a big one too because there's, again, there's so many things we could be doing. Um, if you're on Facebook in business, 
there are a ton of things you could be doing on Facebook, right? Posting, sharing, groups, pages, commenting. What do, what's the right thing? What duplicates? What compounds? That's, that's um, where we need to focus 100% on what is duplicating, what is compounding, what is helping our growth long-term and short-term. Um, 100% focus, right? Number eight is write down in your six areas, Robert lists six areas, gets very specific. And he asked us to get specific. He didn't become a millionaire because he was general and said, oh, I, I kind of want a lot of money. No, he decided where he was going to spend the money, the Starkey Foundation. He decided who was going to get the money and he was spending it in his mind before he ever made it, created it, right? And that's what he's asking us to do. Stay focused on what it is that we're looking for and what exactly it is that we want in these six areas. I'm going to give you the six areas um, so you can write them down. Financial, family, career, physical, spiritual, and mental. Okay, so write down those six areas and you're going to write down in each area what it is you want in each area. Hi, Melody. Thank you for joining. I see you, my beautiful, amazing mentor. Hi, Sophia. I love you so much. Um, write those things down. I'm not, this is not a do this if you, um, if you feel like it, right? If you're looking for success and this is something that you are totally focused on getting, whatever area of life it is, write it down. We must take the time to focus on it and give the energy to it. Um, totally, totally, uh, it, it makes such a difference in our life and in what we are creating when we put our whole 100% energy and focus into um, what it is we're looking for in these areas, okay? So number nine is do the easy things. Uh, it doesn't have to be hard. It can be easy, whatever it is, right? There's usually a system to success for anything that we find or we see someone else being successful in, right? There's usually a system. Find out what the system is, keep it simple, and do the easy things that duplicate, that everyone can do. Um, all right, number 10 is move your butt every day. Look in the mirror and have a face off with you, you and you. It's face off time. Look in the mirror and decide that you're gonna move your butt every day in order to make those changes, in order to receive that success that you're looking for, whatever area that is of your life. Number 11, write in a journal. If you have not purchased a pencil and a journal or a notebook or just pulled out a piece of paper yet in this entire month that we've been doing these videos, now is the time. Get a, get a journal, get a pencil, and keep it with you, and you're going to begin writing things down as they come to your heart, okay? Number 12 is build relationships. Build relationships online and offline. Don't avoid people in your real life because we're working on Facebook. Build relationships in life as well. Hang out with your friends. Accept the coffee dates. Yes, I'll go. I'll take the time. That's why we do what we do. That's why we are entrepreneurs. That's why we are here on Facebook because we want to make free time. We want the freedom to do whatever we want. So when those opportunities arise and you get invited out by friends locally, take the opportunity. Visit with your friends. Have get-togethers. Don't Forget all the people in, in our real life when we're building um, you know, our success on Facebook too. So number 13 is as we're building, we're also gonna focus on building courage and posture. Courage and posture in what we believe in, in what we're seeking, in what we stand for, right? What we're focusing on, um, having the courage to share it and to talk about it is key. Um, and number one, and no, we don't need to share our story all the time. You know, it's not about us. I'm a firm believer that if you're in business um, or in anything, in a relationship, it's not always about us. Oftentimes, our focus should be on other people and not on us specifically. Okay, number 14, still, if you're still struggling, if you're still struggling with exactly what you want, I went through this. There are seasons where we go through and sometimes we're like, oh, I don't know what I want. I kind of, maybe I have everything I want, right? Think about what you don't want. Realize what you have right now that you are not satisfied and happy with it. Do not meet up to your standards. And that will help you find what you do want. Number 15, live every moment of your life like it is the best. This is powerful, powerful. If you only did this one thing. Hi, Craig. I see you jumped on. Hello. Hi, Gwen. Hi, Mike and Scott. Thank you so much for joining. Hello, everyone. I appreciate your time spending here with me. We only have a few more truths and promises that are gonna get you to your success and then we'll be done. 
please share this video. If you know anyone that's looking for success in their own life, please share this video with them. Number 16 is get emotional. Get emotional about what you want. Feel it. Smile when you think of it. Cry when you imagine those dreams coming true, whatever that success is that you're looking to achieve. We must feel it before we ever see it. It's true. 17 is focus on what matters most. There's tons of things to focus on in our life and truthfully, most of them don't matter. So take a breath and focus on what matters most when you do find yourself struggling. Okay, number 18 is bring, don't bring the old you. Oh my gosh. So my mentor talks about, you know, going from company to company to company. Um, we know people that go from relationship to relationship to relationship. What is a common denominator? We bring ourselves with us and our old broke mindsets, our old um, busted relationship limiting beliefs, right? We bring that with us into the new relationship, into the new company, into the new opportunity. Don't do this. Um, make it a habit to reset your mind when you start something new. Erase all the old and create new mental success habits, okay? Number 19 is find your pop. A pop is a realization of a truth that we may not know yet. It's a realization of an awareness that something's always been there that we just didn't see. So find your pop, make it a, make it a goal to get a pop. I'm gonna get a pop today, I'm gonna learn something new and I'm gonna be excited about it and it's gonna change my life. You look for it, look for a pop. Okay, number 20, live a life worth living. Look, if we're gonna not have, if we're gonna refrain from struggling, we're gonna need something to focus on that is beautiful and light and not struggle, right? So create the life that you want to be like that. Create a life worth living for you. Um, number 21, this is the last one and this is so powerful. Take charge. Take charge, whether you are in a marriage, whether you're in a uh, opportunity, a company, uh, maybe it's in your friendships, um, in your life. Take charge. Um, my son is always asking me, who's the boss? Who's the boss? Um, he sees someone standing at a door like with a hat or he'll see a security guard somewhere and he'll say, is that the boss? Is that the boss, mom? So he's always looking for who's the boss, right? So look at your own life, look inside you and see what am I the boss of today? Anything? Am I the boss of anything or is somebody else bossing my entire life around? That's a good question to ask and know. Um, and, and that's it. That's what I want to leave you with. And I have the questions that Robert gives at the end of each chapter. I'm going to type those in for you in the group so that you can actually look at them and write them down and answer them in your journal. Okay? I'm going to give that to you in the group and I love you all. And if you don't have this book already, please type book in the comments and I will send it to you. I'll, I have the audios. It is on Amazon. You can look it up. Um, Shackle to Free, Getting Gooder and Gooder by Robert Hollis and Lori Munson. And I want to just give a shout out to my amazing mentor, Melody Ryba, because she tuned in and popped on here. And I know her time is extremely valuable. Thank you so much. I love you. And I'm over and out for now. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.